defendant rise? Mr. Eisner, you stand before this court of law accused of the crime very clearly caught on the security camera moments ago. <laughs> oh, this is just for that? I thought this had something to do with the school bus full of children I set on fire. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Objection! Nothing's happened yet. Sorry, I, I got excited. It's just, this is the most clear-cut, cut-and-dry, open-and-shut, copy-and-paste, cock-and-balls case I ever did see. I don't even know why the defendant and Mr. Edgeworth even bothered showing up, other than to make a mockery of this courtroom. Now that's just out of order. Wrong. If it were out of order, it'd be wrong. I gotta see. Edgeworth's cock-and-balls even- Right! Stop. Sh shut up. Make your opening arguments to the jury. All right. Uh... Where the hell is the jury? Making jury duty! <laughs> Whatever. I'd like to call my first witness to the stand. Miss Gale Tornado? Yep! I noticed that the word percussion I use in my routines is Miss Awooga! I've got a bad case of clussy fever, and I want to make Whoopi with her cushions! Order, Mr. Edgeworth! Order! I order Miss Tornado to put her butt, her whole butt, and nothing but her butt on my face! Oh. Objectify! So, Mr. Eisner, you maintain your innocence? Well, I spoke to an old teacher of yours, and she said you were quite the troublemaker in the classroom. Always playing pranks. That's not entirely true. Ooh, too bad. Looks like Phoenix Wright was Phoenix stupid. Objection! You made fun of me. I was a bit of a class clown back in middle school. But I left that behavior behind me. Well, I don't know about that, Slim Jim. I thought that gag with setting the school bus on fire was pretty funny. I guess you're still a bit of a prankster after all. I got you now, you fucking moron bitch. Any arguments, Mr. Edgeworth? Ooh. Um, just give me a second. Ooh, what's wrong, Miles? Seems like you're starting to lose your edge. Worth cut that crap right. Don't give me any more of your shit. Fair enough. say anything about me. The prosecutor may have fancy tricks up his cock sleeve, like going potty on himself, but can he do this? Objection! Looks like the defendant has gotten out of control and started dismembering his own lawyer, thumb by thumb. He's right! Well, that's that one figured out.